Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Another day of prices crashing on the EAFC24 market. This market seems to be toast. Nobody seems to be wanting almost any cards off the market right now. Everything is just untradeable through evolutions, SBCs, and it seems like players are only buying a couple different types of cards, which is what I've invested in right now, and I want to tell you a little bit about it in today's video. Hopefully, we get ourselves a nice market rise today on a Monday. I want to look through the content we should be expecting this upcoming week as well and kind of base our investments off of that. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, speaking of the content that we had yesterday, we're going to go straight to the evolutions first, to the good stuff or, well, at least we're excited for the evolution because it's another upgrade that we could potentially get. But yesterday's brand new evolution, Centurion's center back, is a nice evolution, but it's really not that crazy. A lot of people were excited for this. There was leaks. Prices went up like crazy. But actually, when you take a look at this Evo, it's not that amazing. But there's a reason why. You take a look at this Evo, you're getting a center back, and you're boosting up their stats around the card. Plus twos and threes, and maybe even plus one here or there. Right? It's actually plus two pace, three dribble, three defense, and three physical. So plus threes all around the card, but then you get plus ten Passing with three or two new passing traits, pinged pass and long ball pass on a center back, which is very, very interesting. It's one of the weirder Evos that we have had yet. And before this evolution even came out, there were leaks and there were a lot of leaks. A lot of your lower rated center backs were flying yesterday in price. So look at Gavardio from 3,000 coins up to 10k. Konate, Ake were other cards that really had crazy rises, but as you can see, a lot of these are back down. Konate is um, down from 7,500 coins. This Evo was leaked. He went up, up, up. People were investing. They were buying, expecting these cards to go extinct once the evolution came out. But once the evolution came out and the upgrade wasn't as crazy as it looked like, people sold these cards off because the demand for this Evo was just not that crazy because people were like, well, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll save it until a little bit later on, which is exactly what I would tell you guys to do. I mean, if you take a look at some of the evolutions and the more popular cards right now that a lot of people are doing, Nacho Fernandez is a very popular one. Maybe the best place to look here is actually instead of this page on Footman. Gavardio is one of the most popular. 79 passing on his card. What an upgrade that is from his base gold. Um, Gatoni for the um, La Liga. This is a double upgrade. This is one of the reasons uh, I'm going to do a double upgrade for this um, evolution. Trailblazer center back into Centurion center back for Gatoni. Goes from 71 pace to 79. Goes from 59 passing all the way to 78. He has got a four-star weak foot, and he has medium-high work rates with really good links. That's a card that I'm looking at. Also, Chris Richards, right? I'm seeing for this... Um, I'm seeing for this evolution that there's a lot of good double up opportunities here with the big passing boost and with the uh, the boost of the Trailblazer center back combined. Look at Chris Richards going from a 74 to an 85 with 81 pace and 86 defense and um, 84 physical. Now, there's another guy as well that I want to show you. Um, we found this out in the stream yesterday. Jared Branthwaite. Look at the state of this card after a double upgrade as well. Now, of course, if you don't have the welcome to evolutions, he doesn't look quite this good, but he goes to an 80, I think you go to an 83 rated card. If you do trailblazer center back and then into the Centurion center back, like that is a really cracked looking card. This man is also five star weak foot, medium high, and he's six foot five. He's huge. So his car would actually end up looking like this with 80 pace um, at the very end. If you're able to get that card done, that's, a, that's an evolution right there that could be pretty good. So again, it's an evolution that's like decent, but it's also one that just doesn't seem as insane as some of the other ones that we have had. So I would prioritize some of those other ones first. I got to get working on Trailblazer center back. I am going to do Chris Richards, so I can probably go in here and actually start it now if I wanted to, but I'm going to do Chris Richards and I'm going to do the double up for him there. Also, I got to get started on like Trailblazer striker, which I'm going to do. For the Romain Alessandrini, this week on the game, as we're going to talk about a little bit in the video, is a big week for gameplay. There was a lot of gameplay through Evolutions, through the cup that we had yesterday as well. It's the next thing we could talk about in terms of content. We had a brand new cup that was released yesterday. We knew it was coming, right? EA told us last week on Monday that we were going to have a new Ultimate Team Friendly. It is four matches a day. And guys, it's a cup that we kind of need to do because you get XP from it. And of course, we're all on that XP grind right now. I'm only level five at the moment, but we're pushing through it. And this gives you a solid 1500 XP and some solid packs in between. In the next week, we have to get this done. And really, 
I think they could have been more, I guess, unique with this friendly mode because all you have to do is just have max one lone player in your side. I wish they would have done a little bit more with that, but it is what it is. Now, other content that we had yesterday, of course, we have to talk about the big icon pack. Guys, this icon pack is a skip 100%. Now, if you already did it, don't get too mad, but... Uh, you know, it's fun to do these SBCs, of course. It's a gamble. It's the potential that it could be really good. And it is cheaper this time. 84 85 But actually, is it really that much cheaper? Because those cards are going up on the market. It's cheaper this time because it has to be, guys. Because the player pool that can come out of this is just not good. Two weeks ago when this Icon SBC was first released, yeah, you had a little bit more hype. Maybe for a guy like Torres and Essie. And those cards are still decent to pack, right? Torres is 900,000 coins. Like, that is an insane card if you're able to pack him. Essie as well. But, you know, when you're packing Rush, and when you're packing the Ashley Cole or the Lampard, right? Ashley Cole's got a, a better card that's in packs right now that is a plus three, plus four upgrade over this version. This is actually not a bad pull still, 300,000 coins. I guess the way you can look at it is there are a lot of these icons that are in this pack that are over 100,000 coins. I think that's why this is a very highly upvoted SBC and a very highly completed SBC. But if you're looking at your squad and you're like, None of these icons bar maybe the first two or three like Essien and maybe Makalele and Fernando Torres. If any of those would get in your team, good. You can go for it if you want. But if those are the only three that would get in, then maybe you skip it. That's the way that I'm looking at this right now. Like a lot of the cards that I would get from this would not go into my team and probably wouldn't even make the bench. I would rather save my fodder for the other great SBCs that are out right now. Blanc, Vidic, Odegaard, Barella, Jude Bellingham, Player of the Month right? I mean, so many great SBCs are out right now. I'd rather save my fodder for that sort of SBC rather than gamble it away on an icon pack. But regardless, it's an icon pack. So guess what? Fodder went up. Now, fodder prices right now are not up. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But I'm taking a look at 85 rated cards yesterday on a Sunday. They went from 7,300 coins and spiked all the way over to 8,000 coins as people were going and doing that SBC. 84s had a really nice price spike as well. I believe they were about 32 or 3,300. And they went all the way up to about 4,000 coins before they dropped off a considerable amount now into the early morning hours on Monday. And they're back to 3,000 coins again. 83s are a bit low again. And the higher rated fodder didn't really move that much. Maybe down 1 to 2K a card. 87s are 16. 88s are 23. 24 still. The high rated fodder is down a little bit just because, once again, it wasn't in demand, which we are closely watching for a potential buy opportunity today. I want to talk about that more as we get towards the market section of today's video. Now, what I want to talk about as well is the mini release that dropped yesterday. Timo Werner is by far and away the best card that is in the mini release. He was dropping all day since he went into packs. He went down to about 115, 120,000 coins. He's 130k right now. He's started to rise. People are absolutely remembering what happened last week with the Lacazette and what happened with the Felipe Anderson card. Remember Lacazette went from 90k to 155,000 coins. Arguably, Werner is more hype than that Lacazette card in my opinion. Does Werner go up to 150k today? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to have as big of a rise today. Could they still rise? Definitely. Thiago Jallo and Timo Werner would be the two cards that you'd be the most interested in. They're both decent cards. Um, if I take a look at them on the market, Thiago Jallo looks like a really, really solid tenor back. And he's kind of made him a name for himself, actually, in some of the last couple of years in this game for being a really OP center back. I think it's a good card, medium high, three star, weak foot, not the best, but you know, composure numbers are a bit low, passing numbers are a bit low, but it's the pace, the defending and physical, and the play styles that he has, bruiser, block, and jockey, pretty solid play styles for him. And even the same thing for Werner. These guys could rise up a little bit today, but I am personally not investing in them because I'm not feeling the risk. If I would have been able to get them at 115K or maybe even 120K flat, their lowest point, then maybe I would go for it. But from right now compared to where we were last week on this game, when the cards like Felipe Anderson and Lacazette from the mini release went up a ton, it just feels like right now in this game, nobody is buying cards. Like that's just how it feels. And that's why... I'm being very careful with the flips that I that I look at today and, and potentially want to buy for a Monday market rise. So that was basically all the content yesterday. We had the Icon Pack, Center Back Evo. We did have a new SBC for Trejo, um, mid 40,000 coins for that card, unless you're a fan. Um, 
then then don't do it in my opinion we talked about the cup that was the, everything from yesterday really is what it was uh let's get into the market then because you're like nate why in the world are you broke and i've got a bunch of cards right now that i don't normally buy and this is why guys i got fodder all right, I went out and after the, the price spikes that we literally just looked at, you know, those, those 85 rated cards, and I think about the way the market is moving right now, the cards that people are buying the most are SBC fodder. I mean, think about it. Like, you're going and doing SBCs, and that's what people want to buy right now. You can just tell from the rest of the market that nobody is buying cards. Prices just keep dropping. Rashford's 113,000 coins. He was down from 100 and. What was he on Friday? 193, dude. 193,000 coins. He was out of packs, yes, once again. We realized that. But yesterday he dropped from 130 down to 110, and he's still 113. These people are not buying as many cards right now because of evolutions and because I think there's less demand in general on the market, right? Less demand for people to buy cards because they're getting these untradeable evolution cards uh, and just maybe less demand in general. I think that maybe... It is a little bit with with Fortnite. I mean, we've mentioned that a couple of times. I really think there's some truth to that. I think there's just maybe at this point in the year, people are a little bit demotivated to play the game. They've been grinding so hard for the first couple of months, and it just starts to slip off a little bit. That happens, right? Also, it's November. So many people have been told, and as we talked about, selling cards before this month really gets going too far because what do we have near the end of the month? We have Black Friday, and usually during this month, the market crashes like the entire time anyway. So it's just a mixture of kind of all those things. Less demand for multiple different reasons. And I mean, think about it. More and more people are listing up these Rashford and Griezmann and, and cards like this on the market because they don't have to buy these anymore for their team. And that's why I think you're seeing less fluctuations and why you're really seeing a market that's just down bad and really, really down horrendous, honestly. Like we knew this was coming. We knew this was coming. We talked about it back here, guys. When we had the first bit of a dip, we saw Kunde go from 166 to 135. We talked about it at the very end of October about the market crashing and everything that was going to come during November. I mean, I didn't expect it to be like this. For the past two weeks in this game, like Kunde has gone from 165K to 89,000 coins. And that's not even that substantial of a drop. Other cards have dropped. Wait, 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 look at Jude Bellingham. What was Jude Bellingham? A hundred and, he was 110K, 130K, 50K, 150,000 coins two weeks ago. And now he's 40,000 coins. Uh, it's just crazy, right? Less and less people are buying the gold cards as well because there's more and more promo teams that are out with dynamic images, cooler stat, upgraded stats, cooler dynamics better cards you've got live items special cards are starting to kind of form that appeal now which is why i'm just being a lot more careful when it comes to buying meta cards to trade with and why i'm starting to look more at icons and heroes and those out of pack special cards because that's going to be a lot safer place to be on the market because they're more rare and the people that are going to go and buy cards off the market will be looking more towards those sorts of rare cards now today on monday I am interested in some meta cards, and I bought a couple of them here or there. I'm just being very careful. Um, Militao actually had a bit of a rise yesterday after the uh, squad that rewards time period. Right now, he's in the low 70s. I believe Militao was actually like 68K after the content drop yesterday. I want to take a look at this card really quick. Um, and I do want to also express another word of warning for this card here in a second. But Militao yesterday was 80k he went up to about 86 i bought a militao at 80 sold it at 87 and then he just proceeded to absolutely get destroyed combination of panic selling for evolutions uh the center back evolution was expected to be better than it actually was it was still okay right but i think that's why center backs dropped a ton yesterday too but then he didn't really bounce back a bunch even after the evolution was so crazy because i think it's again just people are not buying a lot of cards right now i do not expect Militao to go back to 85,000 coins today because that center back evolution was not that great. I mean, he could go back to like 77,000 coins. Like I'm expecting even more so than yesterday, right? Yesterday, not many cards did this, only a couple. Like Militao from 81 to 86, that slight rise. So basically from 80 to 87K, like, ooh, 2.5K profit, right? I think there's going to be a bigger rise today on these cards, but it's probably going to be the best rise we see like all week. Now, I do think the content might slow down a little bit this week as well in some areas, which could mean that other prices continue to rise through the week just a little bit. But guys, this market again right now just feels just feels stagnant. It feels like people are scared and they don't want to buy cards. And maybe that'll change a little bit today, but I'm just being very careful. If you want to buy stuff today, look at the rare cards, look at the out-of-pack specials, look at Road to the Knockouts. I mean, even some of these have already started to go up. 
440 k for Joao Pedro. Look at his price yesterday. He went from 450. He was down as low as 420 multiple times. Now he's back up at 440 to 450. Lewandowski is the highest that I've ever seen his card price. Modric is 400 k. I look at Trailblazers. Uh, there's a couple of these cards that got really low yesterday that rebounded back. Sophia Smith was under 700. She's now 735. Marquinhos was just 300K. He was 280 at one point. So keep an eye on these out-of-pack special cards. Team of the Weeks, 100%. I'm pretty sure Goretzka was like 150. Now he's 165. Keep an eye on these cards because this is where you're going to be able to make more coins because the cards are more rare. They're, you're able to trade with their fluctuations. And there's people that still want them too because they're just they're special cards, man. Like we do always talk about Coman and Valverde and even Sterling. 48,000 coins for Sterling. That's really low for him. I know everybody's doing Jude Bellingham player of the month, so you have to be very careful with this inform. But that's the part of the market that I would be trading in and out of right now. Even Heroes got panic sold yesterday. Like look at Tevez. Tevez went from 530 down to 477, rebounded back up to 510. So there was a flipping opportunity there. Forlan got really low. Uh, Robbie Keane was another one that got very, very low. Um, I bought a Cordoba yesterday for a pretty low price, like 377. I was shocked to get a Cordoba at 377. And right now, I mean, he's right 395, but he's close to 410. So this is the place where you want to be with these rare cards. Um, and long term, it is going to keep dropping. I'm going to keep saying that. And we're going to keep monitoring things and watching it. Long term, the market is going to keep dropping, guys. But today could be one of those days where you see a little bit of a rise just because weekend league rewards put so many coins on this market. People go out and they buy cards and they also buy fodder. And that's what I want to talk about next because that is where I've made my biggest investment right now. Fodder. I don't really buy fodder that often, guys. But honestly, that's where I feel like most people are going to, if they're going to buy a card this week, I feel like they're going to buy fodder, man. The eye compact that you can do, the all the SBCs that are available right now with the Jude, the Barella, the Icon, Vidic, um, you know, you still have a Sun Player of the Month that is available. You got another uh, Player of the Month coming this Friday, probably for Premier League in Salah. Um, there's a lot of Pirlo, Odegaard, Marta, maybe Stoichkov. There's so many SBCs that are out right now that people could be doing. And once again, there's a lot of fodder that you can get from not only just the crafting SBC, but objectives, guys. Objectives, the packs that we have right now. Everybody getting to level 9 and asking the question, Nate, should I take the 83-3? Um, or should I take the 80 times 10? I'm taking the 80 times 10. Give me some more of those 81s and 82s. Hopefully more like 83s and 84s in that pack though, right? I'd rather take the chance on getting more players than getting just an 83 times 3. So I would take, in my opinion, I would take the 80 times 10, but that's just me. But as you guys are getting there, look, 82 2 and one of 83 plus player pick. And then of course it goes without saying, but all of these milestones, uh, we mentioned this, right? All the milestones, centuries, century of goals, matches, and wins so many fodder packs that you can get from this and i'm behind only playing a few games of weekend league i'm behind i gotta get this done but a lot of you guys are getting those packs and you're getting a lot of fodder and when people get packs on stuff like that they go and they do sbc so that is why i've invested in fodder and i like fodder mostly on the lower tier mostly because that's where i feel like a lot of the sbcs are going to be a lot of sbcs that people are doing are going to be in that lower tier you think about it, right? 85, 86, 87 rated squads. You usually need a lot of, or 84 rated squads too. You need a lot of 84s and a lot of 85s for it, right? And especially if we get some sort of like upgrade pack later on this week, like an 84 double, like we've been seeing the past couple of weeks, as I quickly rip these packs and hope for some fodder to enter my club as well. Uh, these are from objectives, some random packs. What's this? Oh, a bronze, sick. That's why I'm, I'm focused on the 85s, right? I bought some 85s. I would also look at 84s and say that I think those are pretty good investments as well. 86s and above, they they also could do well, right? We've got an SBC leak, Thiago Silva. I think this one is going to end up being a bit overpriced because it's Prem. A little bit of Brazilian tax, Chelsea tax, right? Just big name center back, former team of the year cards back when he was in PSG. Like this is a big name player with great links and... He has a really good playstyle plus as well. Anticipate, that's an insane playstyle plus. There's going to be a lot of hype for when this drops. It might be expensive, but if they do the stats right, he also could be really, really good. That could make higher rated fodder go up. It just depends on the requirements and how much hype there is for this SBC. That's an SBC upcoming that I think, hmm, would 88s be a good buy for? 
if there's an 88 or an 87 rated squad in that, maybe even an 86 rated squad, potentially you could see fodder go up for that. But right now, I'm only I'm buying fodder off of what is in the SBC section right now and what I expect to happen during this week, which we've had an 84 double for the past couple of weeks. We already have SBCs that are making 83s to 85s move. And this is the part of the fodder market that really did the best last week, right? These cards went up crazy last week, right? They were from 6K all the way to 8,000 coins. They went back down to 7K. They were 7,500 coins all week. Again, look at the graph yesterday. They were low sevens. Boom, up to 8,000 coins with the icon pack. People are going to get their weekend league rewards today, guys. I think they're going to go out and buy fodder and do more SBCs. All the SBCs that we mentioned. That's why I like 83s at 1K, 84s at 3 to 3.1, and 85s at 7 to 7.1K. Also, this is just the type of, of investing that you could do and if you don't want to be worried about trying to trade in and out of cards as this market is so volatile and moving so much, you could just sit here and like, I tried to buy some of these cards with chem styles on them. DiLorenzo and Coman were a couple that I went for pretty consistently, but I got a lot of others. But I went for those because they're also like usable. Like people still use DiLorenzo. People still buy Coman for their team. So that's why I picked up some DiLorenzos at like 7.2K. What is he right now? 7.2 the shadow? Like... <laughs> Frick yeah, dude, I'll probably be able to sell that for like 8K or maybe even a little bit above that because you have the shadow chemistry style. And guys, list these for lazies. Like there is, there's no hurry to sell today after awards in my opinion because a lot of the supply hits, as you guys know, on the weekends. I'll take that for 7K without a chem style. I will take that, right? A lot of the supply hits on the weekends and then during the week people do the SBCs. So lazy list this stuff. Like I'm probably going to be lazy listing DiLorenzo's, Coman's, Declan Rice, all these other cards that I got. Probably going to try to lazy list these at like eight to 8,500. And I'm probably going to be looking to make, if I buy them at 7K, sell them at just over 8,000 coins. That's like 1,000 coins per card. But it's something where I'm probably going to be able to keep relisting these cards each and every day during the week and hopefully get some lazy sales. So that's why you see 7K here, De Lorenzo, 7.2, Coman, 7.1. Probably going to be able to list these throughout the week and get some lazy sales, especially on the 83s and the 84s. That is a great place to be. Now, if you want to invest in higher rated fodder, I'm going to shout this out. I'm not going to say that it's going to go up like crazy right away, but it's something that's more towards the end of the week that could be good. Player of the Month Salah is definitely, definitely going to win. Play He's going to win. Player of the Month is going to be Salah for the Prem. <laughs> He's going to win, guys. He is like on track. To win the player of the month it's it's going to be easy for him so um i would definitely keep an eye on some of your 90 rated cards Ooh, pop is going up a lot uh 52k 53k for her keep an eye on your 88s and above for that sbc but i don't even know if you have to invest right now like if it's salah and he does win which we're expecting him to you might be able to wait until the end of the week the sbc would come out on friday and it would have to be a very well priced salah for it to really move the market that much so that's one thing to think about, but also I'm not really investing that far ahead as of right now. Now let's talk about content today on Monday. We already talked about the Tiago Silva. I'm expecting another tweet from EA about this week in Ultimate Team. Expect this. And uh, because they've been doing this the past couple of weeks. So I would be watching for a tweet from EA. This will give us some insight into what this next week will look like in terms of content. And also it might give us some insight on what sort of SBCs we could be getting. One SBC I want to shout out for you guys is... And you saw a couple of Renard on my transfer list. I do believe it could be this week that we finally get the Road to the Knockouts Bacha SBC. Because EA mentioned in the fine print of one of those Twitter videos that she was going to be released as an SBC in November. And uh, it could be this week or next week. Because I think the Women's Champions League is maybe on a different week than the men's. I'm not entirely sure. I have to go back and look at the schedules. But... Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I think we're going to be getting an SBC for Bacha because EA literally told us that we were. So if that shows up, if there's like a Road to the Knockouts, a UWCL card design on this tweet that EA would potentially put out today, that would be a huge clue into that. But I think today on Monday might be a pretty quiet day. It could be a very interesting day. Might just be another day for either a showdown or just a Centurion's SBC. And I don't even know if we're going to get an upgrade SBC today, guys, because we already have the Centurion's Crafting upgrade that's been available for the last week and it's out for another 21 days. Will EA give us another upgrade SBC or will it just be a really, really quiet day on a Monday and maybe a couple other of small pieces of content? Who knows that's why i'm a little bit curious and that's why i also think the market could be aided by that if there is not a lot of content today 
that could make some prices go back up maybe a little bit on the market as people are, are getting coins from champs rewards going out and buying some stuff now speaking of a couple of cards here too i mentioned some of those silvers look at look out for those because on the mondays after a nice evo some of those silver cards that people are using i just picked up a branth white here for like four what did i buy for 400 I think he was selling at like 2K earlier. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Hopefully he goes up to like 2,000 coins and I make a little bit there. Watch some of those silvers that could be used in Evos. Could be a good trading slash investing opportunity there. But I'm kind of invested because I'm hoping for something good today. I, I did buy Felipe Anderson. I still have some of my buys from the stream. But you can see I got a bunch of 85s, man. I got a bunch of 85s. I have a Holland in form. I've got a Forlan and a Cordoba as well. That I'm trying to flip this Cordoba here pretty soon potentially get some profits so I can go reinvest in some other areas. But that's that's kind of the market in a nutshell right now. It's madness and it just keeps dropping. And hopefully today that flips uh, a little bit and hopefully the script flips and we have some rises today on this market. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foucault on the stream today. Peace out.